Hey there, chads and sickos. Welcome to Fun with Numbers. Hey there, chads and sickos. Welcome to Fun with Numbers. I'm your host, Clark Macbeth, and what we're going to be doing here now is uh, having a look at at least 10 different software calculators. Before I do any of that, though, the, um, well, first off, I need to feed my cat. I will be right back. Hold on one moment. Oh, uh, I'll make it quick. Sorry about that. Okay, as I was saying, I should probably close the ebook to um not, uh, the audiobook. I'll get back to that soon. Just something I do in my free time. I have here 10 different software calculators at least i installed them all into my system and i want to test them out you know nothing tested nothing believed i know these all have their own reviews but i want to give my own personal opinion and honestly i know better than everyone else to most of you this is going to look like a foreign -y looking program because y'all ain't smart enough to use Linux, apparently, but the uh, operating system I have is not just Linux, but GNU Linux. Here's the specs. Yeah, there it is. Everything. Framework laptop and everything attached to it right here. That's all the information you're going to need. Feel free to pause and have a look at that. So that's how I installed these calculators with a GUI package manager that I love. And fuck the haters. Discover is the best way to handle software in Linux, in my opinion. Because I'm just a casual user of this. By now, I, I am a casual unit user of KDE, Neon, GNU, slash Linux. But before I get into any of the software calculators, most of you probably are having a look at this calculator here, which is a real one, and just, uh, you know, breaking in terror, heart going into your gut, because this is the calculator that millions of Americans failed at learning math with. This is. The absolute worst calculator that has ever been made. This is also the standard calculator for most algebra students in the classroom. And just because it's a standard doesn't mean it's a requirement. It doesn't mean it's the best or even good. As you British people may know with the uh, international standard cup of tea. You don't. You you still disagree with that, right? And this calculator is the American equivalent. This is the standard issue TI thirty X two S. It is a god awful way to crunch numbers. Here is my beef with it. If you look at the top display. It's a proper dot matrix 
LCD display. This is all the buttons that you need for your algebra class, for your trig classes, and that's fine, and that's why schools buy it, but I absolutely would not recommend you use this device for your classes, even if they hand them out to you for free, which a lot of schools do. Because it looks odd. You have a really hard time finding the buttons. There's no contrast between the words on the buttons, which could be scraped out over time, the way this thing is built, and no, absolutely not. This is the Canon inkjet of calculators, and so many of these have been forced to be born and verbally abused. when they never should have been, and they know it. They have to live with that now. That's how much I hate these calculators, and that's how much these calculators hate themselves. If your school hands out this pathetic excuse of a calculator, you have every right to insult and hurt the feelings of your math teachers, of your school faculty, of your school board, your school district, and every politician in your state. If this god-awful device continues to exist at all, if they support the continuation of it. The reason I hate this is because the display is half and half. It's like you have one processor, like in my laptop, going into two separate displays. It's two separate display outputs. Like, the top you have what you enter, the bottom is the number that results. And that sounds good, but there's not much of a history for this. You get text instead of the proper visual representation. And it sucks. You have to keep scrolling back and forth to fully understand what mistake you made, where you went wrong. A lot of wasted tutoring time could be attributed to this exact calculator. This is an endless money pit over the long term as well. You have every right to protest your treatment as a student with this being handed out in your classroom. And every reason to praise your school staff if they give you the best calculator to help you in your math class. If you can afford it, I would, as a student, I would also encourage you to buy one. This calculator will improve your grades. That alone will make a huge difference. And I know in America, there is a saying in elementary schools that you won't have a calculator with you for the rest of your life. That used to be said, but they don't anymore. And when I was in school, as soon as you went to algebra, as soon as you went to middle school, you were allowed to use calculators to do the number crunching part, Remember PEMDAS here on the sea ship PEMDAS? And also, like, this, this has all the same features, does the same shit. If your teacher will not allow you to use this, you need to complain to the principal immediately, because it is the same as this one but far more ergonomic and useful. It will save time with tutoring that teachers have to do just because it looks better. It's a better representation. You have one processor, one dot matrix monitor, none of this split LED shit, where one is dot matrix and one is, uh, what is it, an eight? A, uh, uh, a segment display, a
seven segment display beneath a dot matrix. But here it's all dot matrix. It all is very neatly organized for you. On the left side, you have the input, what you put in. And on the right side, you have the answer, the result. So input, answer, input, answer, input, answer. But with this, it's a massive eyesore. And you have to keep double checking and scrolling up and right and then back just to make sure what you put in was supposed to be what you put in. And the display is just straight up not big enough. It just, it does the dot, dot, dot thing. No, absolutely not. None of that if you use this calculator. And every school should use this one instead. The TI-30XS Multiview. This is the greatest hardware calculator that has ever been made in my opinion, in the category of not a graphing calculator. Because the display is neat. Because the input looks more like what you would write on a piece of paper if you did it on paper. So you have that heuristic in your mind, and you're taking notes in your math class, and when you put the input in your calculator, it looks like the notes in your math class. When you do history, you see all of the input on the left and all of the output on the right. As you're scrolling up, you don't need to scroll back and forth, just up and down. And you will much more easily see what mistakes you made and how you can correct them. And remember that going forward until it is just that quick. This needs to be in every classroom in America, or it is setting itself up for failure. I am not kidding. The enter button gives itself some contrast and stands out in a way that is more pleasing to the eye. These can be rubbed off. I admit but they're more in line with the second shift or shift key in where it's supposed to be. My God, this is a lovely, beautiful calculator. I have one, but I not know. I don't know where it is. So honestly, because it's such a great calculator, I did end up buying two of them. Once you get in to, once you get into algebra, it's this calculator all the way to the very end. It does everything you need until the end of high school. That absolutely the best, nay plus ultra. And even if you're out of school, you know, sometimes you need to do math at home. Or if you want to take a break from your smartphone, then on the go, have it with you. Just have it to double check, you know. This is great for that, whether it's basic calculation all the way to geometry, trigonometry, and beyond. Just have this. At least in your home. And hopefully, there is something like it among the software calculators that I have here today. If there is a calculator in this laundry list of installed calculators on my machine, on my, you know, that, that is the closer it is to that, that, that is the metric. That is the gold standard. Be as close to the TI-32X. Not, ah, I mispronounced that. Be as close to the TI-30XS Multiview 
as possible. Closest one to that wins. So with that out of the way, here is the first open source software calculator that I'm going to try. It's by the GNOME project. I don't like them. I am completely biased against GNOME because I am a KDE fanboy. I'm using KDE Neon, and the, what I like about KDE so much is I get to rice it however, however the fuck I want. Like, I have, like, these Windows 7-looking windows, but I'm not running Windows 7. I have this whammy bar up here with... That's the app launcher, or, you know, the Linux equivalent of a start menu. I got the weather here. That's what it is in Minneapolis right now on November 12th, 2024. I have the music I was playing. And I paused it quickly because it was emo and before uh, I was going to record this. And that's where I can adjust the brightness on the second monitor, which is actually where I'm turning my head in my room. That's just a Samsung television right there. Oh, and by the way, I can clear the notifications from my phone without going to my phone. KDE Connect, awesome app. 10 out of 10, no notes. Except maybe being able to. Use the full interface of that an Android device within KDE. But this is the GNOME calculator. This GNOME is sort of like the Apple equivalent uh, desktop interface in Linux land. The GNOME uh, desktop environments are what they're called. That's what you get if you install Ubuntu. I chose not to install Ubuntu and instead went with KDE's official Linux distro, KDE Neon. And... It's sort of like Kubuntu, but you get the latest to greatest uh, KDE stuff. Like, you get KDE 6.2, whereas Kubuntu is a bit further back. I hope I'm making sense here. But anyway, I don't like Gnome. But I'll try to be as objective as I can and uh, see how good it looks. Let's do the thing you all used to do when you were bored in school. You all looked up this seven-digit number. Oh. 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 Oh, there it is. I think. What the fuck? Wrong operator. The number one reason everyone misses a math assignment. Uh, Lord, I apologize. I would like to... Clear all of that. Clear everything, please. Well, how do I... I can't get to C-E from here. Or is that just a history? Can I... Can I try that again, please? All right. So, C. We're clear. And um, I'm just going to, you know... Try and be a bit small to... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, have the baby. There we go. Thirty-one million five hundred thirty-six thousand is how many seconds are in a non-leap year? And thirty-one million six hundred twenty-two thousand four hundred seconds in a leap year. Ha ha! Fuck you. Take that, Ronald McDonald. I'm the greatest. I know everything. I am the smartest kid in cool. Cool now. School. Uh, I uh uh I meant to do that. Um, actually, 
Let's go back. Let's go back here. Sorry. Sorry. So we did all that, right? But when you, when you close the app, it clears everything. Clears the history, all of it. So, uh, yeah, this has a history, and it looks and feels a lot like... It, it, it even looks like it respects the color of the theme I have. It's not the default color. It's not like the uh, Apple app iOS calculator where it, it has to be orange. It has to be orange. You can't change the colors because you're a dumbass, you're an idiot, and that's how closer to how Gnome, te no Gnome treats you than uh, KDE. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, let me try this again. Uh, 60 times 60 times times 365. We do that. Uh, I hit control backspace and that clears it up. Uh, or you can click C, whatever you like to do. And you can go back and see your previous inputs and outputs from one side to the other. That's just like the TI-30XS Multiview. I have a bad feeling this one's going to be the winner. By default, it will take the input and put it down here if you want to do further calculations and, you know, chain calculations, uh, trying to, if you're, especially if you're doing for, doing it for uh, money and budgeting, this is the best one I have seen. And that's another reason you should get the physical TI-30 access. But let's have a look. At, uh, oh, there is a financial version of this, so. Oh, really? No shit. Let's say that's how much money we have right now. And let's say uh, you, you won that. That's the lottery. And uh, when you budget for furry conventions, it usually costs uh six hundred dollars for each one total let's uh let's see how many furry conventions you could do with your winnings good sir fifty two thousand seven hundred and four but only if you budget yourself six hundred dollars every time so basically you can go to all the cons with that money if that's all you did with it and you kept your job. Uh, that's, that, that's, I don't understand why there's angle and stuff. Oh, that's, financial has the conversion. It has conversions. Uh, it could take the output and convert it to de decimal, hex, hex decimal. Uh, binary, octal. And it'll put it up there. CDE zero is uh fifty two thousand seven hundred four furry conventions. Good to know. A keyboard calculator would just be uh me using the keyboard. So, uh, you know, and I hit add, subtract, multiply, divide on the 10 key, but I don't have anything else like uh, converting degrees to radian or doing these conversion things, or can I? Energy. Joule to kilowatt hour. Thirteen thousand five hundred five joules equals point oh three seven five kilowatt hour. Holy shit. Is horsepower in this? I don't care. Ah yes. 
Let's clear that out. So outside Minnesota right now, it is 44.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. Zero is 32 Fahrenheit, 100 is 212. We all know that, ladies and gentlemen. That's not rocket surgery. But uh, the coldest temperature recorded in Minnesota? No, no, it wasn't that. I'm sorry, let me try to flip these around. If there's a button, to there it is. It was minus 60 Fahrenheit, which is 51.1 repeating degrees Celsius. That's still cold. Colder than most of Europe could ever possibly get, except for Norway, Sweden, and Finland. The latter two, which have had significant amounts of immigrants to Minnesota in its state history. And that's why you need to stop being xenophobic advanced mode is also scientific so why don't we just uh take that number and uh do that so that's minus 60 to 60 to the 6 for anyone who gives a shit. Oh god, I'm re I'm really I really hope this is not the winner cuz I don't like to know. I don't want them to be the winner, but this is very very close to the TI30 XS multiview. The only calculator you will ever need and the absolute perfect one that is not graphing. Anyway, let's move on to app number two. I couldn't find a flat pack for this one. But I would like to launch it, please. Uh-oh, it looks like this is the calculator that came with my computer. Let me see if I can find it within the system. In the search function. Uh, okay. I cannot. Skip. No, 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 wait, it's passed. We're doing calculator smash or pass here. If I can get this running, I'll I'll get it running. But for now, it doesn't look like I can from Discover, and I can't find it when I search within the app launcher. Sorry about that. Oh, here is the KDE calculator. I'm really rooting for you, buddy, but you're not giving me high hopes after what I've seen with GNOME. Launch the Flatpak application. Ah, there it is. See, what I like about the KDE calculator is because it's made by KDE, as well as the distro and the desktop environment, all of it, uh, it's respecting my theme, even though it is very much a flat pack. So this is what KDE's official calculator looks like. I don't know what was the one that came with it, but this is the one that should have come with it, because it's your distro, KDE. It might not look as pretty as the GNOME calculator. It might not look like something that came directly from an iPhone, but it is a calculator, and I know how to use a 10 key. I'm three-fingering with a hand in a cast. What are you doing with your life? Also, there's this dot here. I'm curious, where does that... Oh! So right off the bat, I don't have to change anything. What if I do a calculation here? Oh, wait, forgot one part. It even has commas. 
It has commas here. It got it got the commas here, people. It, it knew that I was using the English uh, KDE, so it's got commas instead of dots, which is great. It's based. It's valid. But let's see what else is here. Okay, so if I hit C, um. That's how old Minnesota is, 166 years, uh, a lot newer than America. Let's see if I go back up in the history. It's empty if I hit C. It is empty if I hit C. Oh, you can also do that. So what would be 10 times that amount of time? The amount of time between Jesus and... Okay, so the thing about PEMDAS is... Uh, if you want to go... Out of order with the final MDAS... Then you have to make sure that is the case... From left to right... with these parentheses. And I've done shit like this because I wasn't sure, but you're not supposed to. It's not very professional. You're supposed to uh, completely know PEMDAS in your gut. Oh, look, converter. These are the unit types, and it matches my system. It matches my theme and everything I placed into it, which is very riced out. Which is awesome. And the thing about GNOME is it'll do what little you can, but it's GNOME. It's GNOME. You can't do that. But how? let's say we have a car, a Prius, that is... How do I change it, though? It's 50 miles a gallon. One conversion, please. Maybe it's the arrows. Different types of electrical. Uh, oh, it's like a little slider. And I can even do it with the middle button on the mouse. So long as it's hovering over that. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can actually show you, but. And these are based off of base 10, like, metric units. Watt's actually an international standard unit, and you don't have any other. Fuck you, America. I, I didn't mean that. I still love you, even if you don't love yourself at the moment. That's how I view patriotism. So, miles per gallon, please. Okay, so uh, apparently the, sc the middle scroll wheel's a bit too emphatic, so I gotta drag it like this. Toyota Prius. It's like an incantation. Okay, so sometimes you need to jog it, but... I, I, I love the little imperfections of this, okay? I know it's biased. But at least you get the history. So, 50 miles per gallon is 4.70, and then toss the insignificant digits, liters per 100 kilometers. You're 
doing two and a half of those two liter Diet Pepsi bottles every time you're going a hundred kilometers of distance. And by the way, a hundred kilometers of distance. Oh, I need it's in alphabetical order too. Though it's length here. Mm. Kilometer. Nope, I want to go to miles. Get them freedom units. Kilometers to MI. Oh, and as you go into uh, stupid people units, um, it gets bigger. But if you're doing that in metric, it gets smaller the more you scroll down for consistency stake. So 100 kilometers is 62. Point thirteen miles. There you go. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so beside my personal biases on whether GNOME or KDE is the best de desktop environment, which KDE is very much the best desktop environment, it looks like we have here two calculators that pass but if you want something that looks more retro and will match how you make your desktop environment look this also has a history it has scientific functions up front there is also a programmer calculator Which uh, apparently just does ones and zeros. What happens if I use the 10 key and put like two? Uh, nope, it does not do that. It'll just give you the number in binary and other types of units that are displayed here. It does that all at once. Converter convert good. And the ordinary calculator. All right, so this one has not been indoctrinated by Big Brother. Or enter. Oh, that's how you do the history. So hit enter. And then if you want to do something. Like six squared, six to the fourth, carrot sixty nine. It does do E, and in the history, two plus two does equal four. I'm going to take that. And divided by a million. A hundred million to be exact. And once I hit enter, that's in the history. And then, of course, you could just... Uh, stick you know, do the thing every kid did. To act like they're better than everyone else. That's the output. This is the history. You can delete the parts of history you don't need anymore. There's actually some more functions, so... In my opinion, this one is the number one so far. But it also passes, and that is the most important aspect of all. So while I am being mean to the GNOME Foundation, 
here. Let me. Have a look at another calculator I installed. Here we have calculator by Alec Kruchkov. I know I pronounced that correct. Don't ask me how. Comrade. It's a simple string calculator and it is open source. So for now, I'm going to trust the Russians that uh, it's only doing what it says is it does. And, uh, you know, I, I should double check the source code, but I'm not going to here. Simple string calculator. Two plus two. Uh, let's see, control backspace, it does that, makes it easier, three hundred by three, oh, I hit plus, sorry, three hundred times three, I hope y'all can bowl a better series than three hundred three, okay? We got that, and that remains up there. If you leave that up there, you can add to it. So, let's say you're trying to beat a more substantial record, which is most uh, strikes in a row. That would be four uh, games. But let's say there's someone so awesome at bowling that you're not sure. You try that again. You can backspace and redo the calculation. And if this does let you correct a mistake with the backspace key, which is really unique. It's got a multi-view of your history. And... You can have a looky look. But will uh, what happens if you reach the limit, though? What happens once you reach the end? Will it let you scroll? Yes, it will. But it is a basic calculator. It's add, subtract, multiply, divide. This would be good if you're making a budget. but it doesn't have special functions. It can't help you measure exponential growth and thus compound interest, I don't believe, but we could try the caret symbol. And it appears this calculator is very much saying no to that. Hard pass, no, this, this gets a pass. I'm sorry you are going to be flushed down the toilet because you are a pass. Not everyone who gets flushed is a pass, but everyone who is a pass gets flushed. Alex Kruchkov, you've been chopped. That 
that was probably for the best anyway. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, buddy, this is not just a divorce. This is also very much an annulment. This never happened. We never talked to each other. We never met. Another beauty of flat packs is that's a piece of cake. All right, next calculator. We have a calculator from Expedus OS is what it's built for, but this has graphing. But what else can it do? It's just showing me a calculator in standard for now. But all right, let's take the curio bait. All right, let's see what we got here from Midstall Software. A calculator of sorts. Don't really understand the glitch here. Anyway, let's launch this bad boy and give it a bit of a whirl. Um. What in the hell? Looks like we have a stall indeed. I mean, the graphing works okay, I guess. That, 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 that is not line X plus 1, by the way. That's line X equals Y. So what the hell? Equals. Okay, so apparently the keys don't work. The graphing function doesn't work. Pull up, pull up. I can't see shit. I don't know what this is. I do not understand. What is this? Um, okay, so you're collecting data even though you're asking me not to. Is this some kind of joke? Is this some kind of scientific experiment to see how much you can get for people taking something clearly bad and then deleting it? If you could do anything useful with that information. Are you a data scientist? Are you stupid? I can't see shit. This app is broken. It does not work on my system. Hard pass for calculator by Midstall Software, which apparently has an operating system. I'm not I'm not going to try your operating system until after you fix this calculator. Pass. Hard pass and I annul that I ever tried that piece of shit. If a ca if your calculator can't launch after being installed, pass. So whatever the software this was, and however, whatever reason it didn't work. And by the way, this is a uh, proprietary. I don't want. I I don't like it. I don't want this to have kernel access. You're gone. That's enough of that. Here's an app called the Deepin Calculator. I don't know what it is. Just a more slick looking variant of the other calculator. You have to switch to see the scientific in mode in this one and the programmer mode. Programmer mode, thankfully, appears to work. You can put in decimal numbers, or you can do the others if you're a psychopath. And, you know, it's a calculator. I'm going to say... You know what? I am going to give this one... Oh, and it has the C, visible C. 
and it goes to AC to you want to delete the whole history and there is history it, it works like a, a normal 10 key calculator in its normal mode and I can see shit even in dark mode apparently works just fine but am i able to scroll up the history that's the big big question and uh i i think this is a flat pack so this is not actually respecting my system theme at the moment but it is respecting uh that part the the window theme, what it looks like. This window seven looking thing. I I just love when it looks like that. I, I miss window seven and you know, KDE Plasma is, even at its default, a lot like Windows 7. All the way to the window manager. I already did a full video on that though. Let's let's keep looking at calculators, shall we? And uh, the normal mode also lets you do this, and you can insert memories. Add a memory. You can come back to this later. And put in the number you memorized, or you can subtract the memory. Memory clear. And you do have a part where you can scroll up and down. And you can see the equations, but they're all on the right side. They're all on the right side. And that doesn't look as good. But it does pass as a calculator. So, uh, and you're not by GNOME, so. By virtue of being both, this calculator, which the reviewers are wrong about, it needs more than 3.4 stars, give it some love, gets to pass. Uh, but I'm done with it for now, so I am going to shatter it like that. But it's okay, I have a computer, I can put the shattered back together. Oh wait, that's a system file. That's, uh... That's from my uh, KDE Neon repository, but, you know, I like it. It's good. I'm keeping it. Moving on. So this thing that says graphing calculator, I didn't, I did I don't really want to review graphing calculators, and the one I did already was Poo anyway, but what makes this even more like Poo is it, uh, Way too complicated, and it's a snap package. No, I will not be putting snap packages in my system if I can avoid it. But we do have the mate calculator. Let's see what the mate calculator looks like. Oh, look, it looks like a calculator, mate. So, uh, yeah, I'm a furry. In case you haven't noticed, if I haven't made it very clear enough, I am very much a furry who lives in Minnesota. This is the fur, fur from the latest, uh, you know, furry convention for immigration. But uh, I want to go back to the calculator. I don't want to make updates. And I get to decide that whenever the fuck I want because I'm on Linux and fuck Microsoft. I don't even have Windows on this machine. I'm not dual booting. I'm not using WSL. I'm not being a pussy-ass coward. I really don't like saying the word pussy. But, uh, yeah, that's that's where it's at. Um, but I do want to go back to the calculator. Since I'm launching from Discover. And yeah, this is the mate calculator, mate. Some other calculators that smash I am keeping. Smash means keep if is what I meant to say for all of that. But what I said was keep is keep. 
And uh, this one is having a hard time closing and being a bit of a dingus. So I'm actually going to say pass for um, who made this one? Okay, now I have a real and valid and not racist at all excuse. Uh, the string calculator is pass. I will not be using that. I don't know why this is still here. I want to close this because I think I already uninstalled that. That was a pass anyway. Moving on to the make calculator. Normies have to call it mate. Those are the rules. Uh, you can't really adjust the size of the window. I hit super left to cover the left side of uh, this monitor, this display, and apparently that does not work. Uh, that don't work. This does. Uh, Versailles and this doesn't. This is one size. No matter how I move this around. And it does respect my theme. Mate respects my theme. About as much as the KDE calculator. I'm actually quite surprised. And uh, let me show you in another app here. What I mean, uh, Blink, it's a game, so that's not a good example. Oh! Of course. Um, KDE is responsible for Caligra now. And here is what Caligra Sheets looks like if you open a blank document. Or, you know what? I'll just open that file for giggles. That respects my theme, too. It doesn't print like this. It doesn't have this color when printing. Once you do the print pre pre preview, it'll turn as uh, white as a group, a gathering of snowflakes. But the mate calculator does it, too. And I think I know why that's, uh, that's also in the KDE Neon repository. So they made some adjustments and made it do that. So calculator. It's got a financial mode. It's got the currencies in the financial mode. Advanced is scientific. Basic is basic. You can't scroll into scientific like this. And programming is programming. Let's say you do 16, and you want it to be in hexadecimal. Enter. Well, that looks like shit. Six, nine, decimal, hexadecimal. Changing that does nothing. Do we have a bug? That's a real bug and a real bummer. Nine plus three equals 12. Let's go back to programming. Oh. That just changes what this looks like, or is supposed to over here, but it didn't do that initially. I... So only uh, numbers where you perform the calculation appear to work in programming mode for some reason, and that's just stupid. But as far as normal functions, those seem to work. That's how many hours are in a year. Again, take that, Ronald McDonald. It's a bit of a story. Um, but if I hit squared, you can do square. There's a bit more advanced functions. Does it have history, though? 
it's a bit hidden, but you can go in there and activate it. But the calculator should just have some history displayed anyway. I The TI-30XS does too, and once you scroll up, it hit the up button. The design of the calculator itself strongly implies this, and this does not. They hit it. So I gotta knock it for that. But once you get it to advance, you get all the scientific. Uh, take the log of 12. Clear. 36 uh, log. I think we have a syntax error. Log? No, not natural log. That's an operator. That's the log of 36. For those of you who needed to know that. All right, I'm going to give this calculator a pass. I'm going to give it a pass. I don't like it. Uh, I don't want to keep it. And the reason for that is because of the hidden history. If I were to open this one, I don't want to fiddle around to see the calculations I already made. I just want the history up front and center. So uh, you're going to get deleted. I'm removing you. You're being thrown in the rubbish bin. Bye.